Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. We're here at the Terra Perma Eco Village in Harrington, Quebec, and we're checking out this tiny cob cabin that they built for visitors. So the cob cabin is built with straw bale walls, and then they plastered over it with two or three layers of cob, which is a mix of clay, sand, water, and straw and then they've coated everything with a natural lime plaster to weatherproof it. They also put a green roof on the cabin, so they lined the roof with a rubber pond liner, and then they put uh, some wood chips and mulch up there, and then they're just gonna let the plants naturally colonize the roof. The roof also has a pretty generous overhang on all four sides, which is really great. In the front, it kind of provides some passive solar. Um, another good reason for the overhang is to protect the cob, because even though they have put some lime plaster on there, um, Canadian weather is pretty intense with all the rain and the freezing and the thawing and so by putting an overhang they're kind of protecting the cob from all of those elements. We really love the idea of being able to build such a tiny little cabin with natural materials that can be completely off-grid and it seems like it would be pretty cheap to build as well. So we're going to give you a peek inside so you can check it out for yourself. One other really interesting thing about the way they built this cabin is that all the windows on the front are actually doors. So you should be able to open up all the doors if it's really hot or if you want to have kind of an outdoorsy feeling. So it just feels like you're really part of um, the outdoors. So there's one main floor. It's about 12 by 17 feet. And you can see all the locally milled timbers here. And then the cob walls add a really nice warm feeling but then they're actually cool to the touch because the walls are so thick that the sun, the heat from the sun is not making its way in here. So it feels really nice and cool in here. Right when you come in, there's a little dining room table for four people and a kitchen back here, really low tech kitchen, which I like. Uh, as someone who cooks a lot of food, I would probably make the countertops a little bit deeper just so you have more room to work, but I mean, you can pretty much make do with anything you've got. They've got a water source here, um, keeping it simple without plumbing. One thing I did notice in here is that there's not tons of storage. I mean, it is a guest rental for visitors to the Eco Village, so I understand, but I'm always picturing what it would be like if I lived here, so I would probably swap this table out for a storage chest just to keep some extra stuff in there. Behind us, there's a wood stove, and then they've got these two good-sized wooden boxes here for holding kindling and firewood. And then one really neat thing that we haven't seen anywhere else yet is that they have two separate ladders for the loft. So there's one on each end, and you'll see why once you get up into the loft. As you can see up here in the loft, even though it's got a low ceiling, there's tons of light up here. So they've got a window at either end. They've got two huge windows on the front south side of the building. Um, so it doesn't feel dark up here at all. And uh, what I really like is that you can see there's two full-size beds up here. So you've got two separate ladders, two separate beds. And if you wanted to kind of create two separate rooms, you could just have two dressers and just have one facing that way for the people on that side and one facing this way. So you could have guests over and still have privacy. But yeah, I really like the loft up here, it's cozy. As with most tiny cottages like this, um, the toilet is outside, so there's an outhouse out there, and there's no shower. So figuring out a shower situation, you can do it in a lot of different ways. You could have an outdoor shower. You could build like a separate little shed that you could heat up and stuff. So there's a few different options, but there's clearly not um, a space for a shower here. What they've done, because it's a rental and there's a few different tiny cabins around, is they just have a shared shower block. <laughs> So I really love the walls in here. I love the kind of organic shape and that you can tell that it was all handmade. Um, it's really cool to the touch. And as you can see from outside, it looks like a big pillowy kind of um, building. And that's because the walls are super thick. They're probably almost two feet thick because they have straw bales right in the middle of them. So that provides amazing insulation. And like I said, it's all breathable and it's rock hard. You can hear it's almost like concrete. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed touring the Cobb Cabin with us. We really loved it and we hope you did too. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this.